Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel, and for those of you that are new, welcome. Um, I am back uh, for another video tutorial this week. Um, I was requested a few weeks ago to do this uh, hijab style. I had done it as a niqab a few weeks ago, and many of my hijab sisters uh, requested that I do it as a hijab. So here is my, here's my tutorial at that. Um, so yeah, I will just get started on that. Um, one second here, please. Oh yeah, that's what I have to mention. That's why I'm stalling, because I had something else to mention. Um, I got a new camera this week. Hopefully I will be using it next week. I'm still trying to master how to use this thing, but I was able to uh, get a new Canon, so that will be my new video recording camera next week. So um, if you notice any changes, that will be it. I'm very excited about that. And uh, yeah, hopefully this works out. So anyways, on to the tutorial. Okay, and for this tutorial, um, I just started with uh, Ninja Underscarf, and uh, just for appropriate coverage. Um, for this style, if I was actually going to wear it on a regular day, I would just wear a regular undercap and um, probably a turtleneck pinned at the back so we wouldn't be able to see this part when uh, we're finished with the hijab, but you'll see what I mean when we get there. Um, okay, so for this tutorial, we just need to start with the regular scarf. I'm using a super thin one so the bow doesn't get out of control, really. But um, also because it was Hello Kitty and it was a Hello Kitty um, tutorial, so I figured we should have an ode to Hello Kitty today. And the other thing we are going to need is a pipe cleaner. That's right, I got the word wrong when I took the last take of this video. I called it a twist eye. Anyway, pipe cleaner and the scarf, and that is all that's needed for this tour. Oh, and one pin. One uh, straight pin. Okay, so we are going to go from the edge of the scarf and make all of the ends even. Okay, and take from that end, and we need to make this into a loop so we have enough to go around our neck. So I made a loop around my hand, pulled the end through, and pull tight like so. And then from here, that is the part that we put on the back of our head, that knot right there. And that helps it stay secure for now. We take the front pull in the edges. <laughs> Just gives a cleaner look. There we go. And take it to the top of your head and do one or two twists. And we have the long, 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 long end remaining here. like so and this is where the pin goes. I'll use a very bright coordinating pin so we can see easily. Okay and this pin make sure it's secure. It is detrimental for making this bow stay here. Okay, and then again we make the three fingers, take the fourth, pull my three fingers out, and start again here with three fingers. Okay, gather this all up, take the twist tie from the back. Twist tie, like so. There we go. Sorry, that took me a few minutes. So make sure it's secure. Stay in there a little 
pies. Okay, let me take the... Oh, I can fluff it now or after, but... We take the remainder and we can twist it or not, just keep it flat. here like so. There we go. Grab my bow, fluff it. And then we undo this part. you and since the side peak comes down this side I just like to keep that going if I was going to wear this um, all day kind of scarf I would probably do a straight pin right here just to hold this piece down around your chin accordingly like so. And there we go. It's not very full coverage um, scarf style so I would, um, oh yeah like I said, I would have used a regular undercap and probably just a turtleneck so you wouldn't have seen this area. But anyway, it's more of a turban kind of style. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, if you're looking for, oopsie, a little bit more coverage in your chest area, obviously you can throw on another um, scarf. Oopsie. So from the back or from the front, whatever you feel is necessary, and there you go. Got more coverage just like so, or if you put it on from the front, to the back like so good decent coverage so anyway um hope you guys like my tutorial i will be back for another one next weekend inshallah and until then um peace assalamu alaikum Bobby pins. 
secure to our head and pull it from there and then we um, oh, excuse me, I dropped one. Headbands to hold back your stray hairs. I use more something like this in the summertime when it's hot to keep the extra layers off my head. Um, I have also been known to use the velvet headband. It keeps the little strays very secure behind my head. Um, the grippier the velvet, the better. Uh, yeah, and I also have another version of the same thing to show you, but it's just a much 